Now we know that the bigger the food packet, the more we eat. So if we apply this to snacks, the right size snack is a packet that contains 100 calories if you're aiming to lose weight, that's 420 kilojoules, 200 calories for weight maintenance, or 300 or more calories for weight gain. So if we apply that to a snack food, like a muesli bar, take a look at these criteria to decide whether it's healthy enough to eat every day because it's not just the portion size we're after, we're after good nutrition. Firstly, look for 100 calories per bar, that's 420 kilojoules. Secondly, look for less than 3.5 grams of total fat. Now occasionally you will get a bar that's basically made of nuts, uh, which will automatically have more fat, and then we're looking for less than 7 grams per bar. Thirdly, look for less than 1 gram of saturated fat per bar. And fourth, you're looking for a bar to be low glycemic index. Now many foods haven't been tested for glycemic index, so failing that, we're looking for less than 5 grams of sugar per bar, or if the bar is based on fruit, look for less than 15 grams of sugar because that sugar reading is also reading the fructose in the fruit. And lastly, look for greater than one gram of fiber per bar. So let's take a look at this one. This bar contains 370 kilojoules per bar, which is approximately the 420 that we're aiming for. The total fat is 3.3 grams and our goal was less than 5, so that's great. There's less than 1 gram of saturated fat in here and the sugar count is 3.4 grams and we were aiming for less than 5. The box actually also tells us that this bar has been measured for glycemic index and has come up as low, so that's great. And lastly, the fibre content at 1.7 grams per bar is greater than the one gram that we aimed for. And you'll find all this information and more in Portion Perfection.